to any more trouble. Your dad's going around his house to punch his face sick. I'll punch his face. You listening to me? Misha, oi, you two, look at me. And you can shut up and all. You were the one crying. You were like a baby. I seen you. There's no. What's no. You must be in trouble. Was it Christmas? No, they. Yeah, it was a bit of a scare. Look, I reckon it's that group hysteria thing, like when lots of girls all faint at the same time. Can you say thanks to your uncle? I did. All right, cinema. Yeah, that'd be nice. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Misha? Thought maybe this. And you and me? Well, <clears throat> we got things to talk about. Bender. Misha's hearing this. She's not bothered. Her friend Shan's got two mothers. Misha, will you get off that thing? Dead. <laughs> I'm a gang of uniform thugs breaking the point guns at their head. It's no wonder they're traumatised. It's no wonder our poor David pissed the bed. I didn't. Are you big baby? It's the police state to blame, and I'm going to rinse the bastards for every penny Shut they got. Shut up, Johnny. What did he say? Is straight away. Government representatives will be visiting certain schools. Or you're not going either. You stay in put. Just like your uncle Yanto said, don't trust any of them. But the man said we got to go. And I know for a fact he's lying. David, on your feet. Go to the Baxters opposite, then go to Sally's and go to Mrs. Singh. Only free of charge. It's ten with a kid! Shut it, you! Okay. Come on, everyone, I'm David. Mission, to control. Can you hear me? Spies. We're playing spies. What I need you to do is to be as quiet as you possibly can. But I don't need to ask anymore. I know the answer now. <laughs>